Sioux Paul is live with that story for us tonight. Lenny, we know the tortoises were like $10,000 a pop for these two. So how much do you, the experts believe the comics were worth? Just about as much, tens of thousands of dollars, if not even more. And tonight we're getting more insight into this very complex case that's now stretching across state lines. It's just a very painstaking operation at this point. The slow and careful process of recovering stolen items from a St. Petersburg home continues. Joshua McCarty Thomas and his wife, Dashe, arrested this week for stealing two endangered tortoises from a St. Augustine zoo, along with rare books from Haslam's and Lighthouse bookstores in St. Pete. This investigation is, has different prongs that we are looking at, so it's going to take our officers, investigators, a while to get through everything. The couple's home packed with stolen comic books. A police report shows dozens belong to the Hall of Heroes Museum in Indiana. The owner found the stolen comic books on eBay, then bought his own books from the site to find out they were shipped from this home in St. Petersburg. When a book is stolen, everyone finds out about it. Dino Lido is the director of Agents of Slab's Signature Service in Tampa, specializing in grading the authenticity of comic books. There were some pretty substantial Golden Age books stolen. Uh, books worth in the tens, uh, thousands, if not more. This was a very substantial theft. The key Marvel classics are from the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. Lido says they likely had a serial number that's stored in a database, but still, many comic books go missing. He probably visited the museum and did a case job. That's classic crime 101. Any Batman villain would do that before they executed, you know, the action. And investigators say that there are so many stolen books wedged inside that house, it will be weeks before they're able to determine where they're all from. Reporting live in Tampa tonight, Lenny Sue Paul 8 on your side. Thank you, Lenny. A second person is now.